From the rich, give it to the poor. 24 7, now them the ball. Them be many men, the king of the ghetto. No matter what it come the way, the king of the ghetto. Them they show me love, make me smile again. No. Boys, they happy when I see them face. Oh. Action! Merry Man 1 was so good in the sense that uh, it was a box office hit and a lot of people really, really loved it. I used to do something. I go in unexpected, I find myself in the crowd and after the showings and the light comes on and the people see me and they just go and go. <laughs> From that point, a lot of people started saying they just can't wait to see Merry Men 2. The very minute people started asking for uh, Merry Men 2, it became necessary to give the people what they asked for. Hello, hello, hello. What up, what up, my name is Faust, aka Faust, black guy. And right now we're on set, Merry Men 2. Um, you really about the most, actually we're a hinge, okay? As you can see, I'm a hinge, observe the swagger, you will know. Uh, <laughs> I played the role of Remy in this film, and um, you know, we're shooting. Right now we're at Echo Hotel, VI Lagos. It's going down, it's looking good. Let's go. Point of correction. One, two, three, four. This gentleman here is useless to us by reason of incapacitation. Two, one. I came into the country for a meeting, and I got a call from uh, Moses, who is the director, and say, hey, dude, I realize you're in the country. Are you uh, down for a movie? Moses told me he's a merry man, and I was like, oh cool, this is a big production, I mean it's AY. So I said, oh sure. So I got him, and, and that was how I got here. Who took the love of my life? I want to pay her bright price, I'm ready now. Hello? That's her husband. Oh, merry man one was a runaway success. It totally defined the pace of Nollywood. It's um, what made the sequel for two, so... We're merry men! What haven't we done? And you can't help me bring back my wife. It's really mind-blowing. It's so far so good. Uh, it's actually one of AY's best job. It's a trap, guys. It's a trap. Abort! 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 Get them. My name is AY. I play the role of Amaju Abiyorishek Bemi. You know, they call him the effective uh, gigolo. I put a question back on his uh, effectiveness uh, in the face of the mission and trouble that came before the visage of the merry man. All well and good guys, coast clear. Hmm, this far, which of them is? So guys, it's Merry Men 2. As you all know well, if you saw Merry Men 1, I played Dara, who was uh, an EFCD official and who also had a romantic relationship with Ayo Ramzino as a grey. Uh, Merman part one was good. I played Sophie, the secretary. Sophie Obaseki. Did you see Obaseki? Mm -hmm. The best part about it is I, I, I get to be Sophie the secretary but now the badass. In Merman one, I played uh, Kenny, that's Ramzi's little sister. I got married to Jim Ike, who's Naz. First of all, we started off as boyfriend and girlfriend, hide and seek, playing here and there, until my brother caught us. And that caused them to fight. Best friends fought and we went crazy. At the end, we finally got married, everything went well. In part two, oh God, come and see. Boxing fighting, glasses shattered everywhere, motorbikes. And I really can't wait for you guys to see it. If you see it, it's different from everything you've seen. Like, have you ever seen, I got kidnapped. Ah! 
Oh, my role in Merry Men Part 2 was Calypso. I was the biker chick that doesn't take nonsense and hardly ever speaks, but then I know what to do and at the time to do it. Um, I got a call from AY one night and um, that was it. I was casted. <laughs> this is not about the money for me and yeah, you know it. That was it. Uh, so when he called me on this project, um, Honestly, I mean, I was tied with my project, you know, um, producing and directing a musical on stage, as well as putting a whole cabaret together, but I couldn't say no to AY. <laughs> I couldn't say no, so. And um, I got a message from AY saying, um, hello, my person is going to reach out to you, Darlington. And I do know of Darlington. Um, we were supposed to work together before, but I've never worked with him. So this is my first time working with the production itself of um, um, Peekaboo. I didn't know it was gonna be like this because I did see a bit of um, um, Yoba Demon 1, but I didn't know 2. Because I think 2 is a lot more intense than it was with 1. Mama, Dame, Maduka, you're supposed to be under house arrest. Which is why I'll make this quick. I, I play Dame Maduka, and she's a high, highly connected, very powerful woman uh, whose connections extend to politics, commerce, and everything. This is how, every time I think about her and I want to describe her in a nutshell, th these are the words that come to mind. And the character, Dame Maduka, embodies every single thing that is wrong with our socio-political class. She's greedy, she overreaches herself, she is immoral, she has... Nothing is too much or too bad or no, she has absolutely no boundaries. She's mind-boggling. But I thoroughly enjoyed playing her. <laughs> I play Zara. She's a vindictive... I don't know if I'll call her not pleasant. I mean, because there were circumstances that kind of made her, um, you know, not pleasant. Even vindictive. It was an opportunity she took to become vindictive. But in all, she's, um, she's, she's quite an emotional person. And I hope that people get to see that, you know, part of her in all her hardness and all her being, you know, a mean machine. But in all, don't try Zara. She's mean. <laughs> Johnny will accompany you. Johnny. Mm -hmm. This idiot, Jezebel. What did you say? I'm greeting you. Johnny is this geek that uh, is a computer geek that looks stupid but knows what he's doing. As a matter of fact, he can hack into the White House. But when you look at him first, you will not know because he has a, a lot of stupid personalities and vibes. He became part of the merriment because of. Uh, a major mission that they needed to do and they needed some very good expertise and uh, he got in and he didn't know what he was getting in, into he thought it was just one of those you know IT things you just do your thing and all that but when eventually he saw that this is high high tech stuff he needed to upgrade you know because there was a lot of action carrying on <laughs> you know shooting your way into places and all that so uh, so the whole stupid and geeky thing, you know, came into limelight and the movie allowed me to play out my Instagram personalities with the tiny voice, the funny faces and all that. So they wanted to inculcate that into the, the, the character of Johnny. So um, it kind of made me a little bit more comfortable um, towards the, the project. My name is Linda Osifo and I play the character Hasana in Merry Men 2. She's amongst the villains, because they are the villains in the film. She's amongst the villains, and yes. It's been intense, man. It's yeah. been tough. It's been yeah. challenging, yeah. yeah. I've never ever in my entire career shot a single film as many as many action scenes. <laughs> the action scenes, we've shot so many action scenes that yeah. I just wake up and I think about fighting. Ah! The director's an old friend of mine, Moose and I pretty much gone on this boat, <laughs> this, this lifelong pursuit and together. 
Working with Sneeze has been good. I think this is my first time working with him. I was supposed to work with him on another project, but that didn't work. So, but working with him now is good. And he's also a friend. He's someone who I find extremely funny, quite professional, um, humble, and he knows what he's doing. He's quite focused. Okay, so my director Moses Sneeze. I do ballet, I do ballet. <laughs> And he's quite precise when he wants when he has a picture in his head he kind of wants to see it happen this is my first time working with him um, I've heard about him in the industry but I've never actually worked with him the first couple of days were a bit awkward as expected if you've not worked with someone before so you're not so sure what the vibe is or you know you pretty much just play your part but with each passing day I mean he's made everyone relax and it's now a work friendship kind of relationship so you know um, you know when to switch both on. That was Moses. He's pretty good. I like I like I like how he he thinks and directs things. If um, I come up with something and I'm like okay I want to do this this way and he's like no I think you should do this way so he always helps me get better like sync better in my character even though he always places me. Yeah. He also takes all of us along, he just doesn't stick out and say this is how it should be. He listens to you and lets you um, have your input and um, just for the greater good of the movie. Asnis has also created um, a niche for himself. Um, I, I don't know that uh, too many other directors would have been called to direct a script like this one. Um, Sneeze was just perfect for the job. So I've seen him look at his shorts and he's clear about what he wants. It's almost like he reads the script. Oh, and God bless him, because he's also a cinematographer, editor. He knows what he wants for the shot. So already in his mind, he's editing and he says, I don't need this shot, don't roll this camera. I need this shot for sure. But another thing I like about him is he's willing to listen. So some directors are just stiff and they just tell you to do you know, what they want. But with him, I find that you can have conversations and you can, okay, how about I do it like this? Or how about we do it? He's willing, he's always willing. He's not in a hurry. That's another thing I've noticed, he's not in a hurry. The director was awesome, awesome. I can't even talk about Nodash and his team. I'm a filmmaker. I'm a primarily a director, but I also DP um, on projects that I like, and Merry Men 2 is definitely one of those projects. On the set of Merry Men 2, I am the AD1. My name is Jeffrey Otas. I'm the production manager, Merry Men 2. My name is Do Junior Otse. I'm the second AD on the set. Merry Men 2 is, um, from what I've heard, is a step up from the first one. Story-wise, the story is different. It's a little less um, flamboyant, and this time, the, you, the guys get messed up, you know. It's tougher. Production has been good. The cast and the crew are such professionals and so polite and so easy to work with, and they know what they're doing, so that's amazing. I mean, you guys should expect something that, that is so action-packed. It's not the, the Merry Men that you know. <laughs> This is Merry Men Reloaded. What else can I say? Merry Men 2 is going to be in cinemas across the nation. Christmas is going to be more exciting because <gasps> Merry Men is here. Now you better rush to the nearest cinema and watch it and take somebody along with you. Friend, family, foe, anybody. Just don't say it alone. Guys, I am so excited and you guys should be excited too because guess what? Merry Men 2 is out in the cinemas. So guys, let's make this cute smells a beautiful one. We can go see the movie together and trust me, you won't regret it. Take my word. So my gift to you this Christmas, of course, is Merry Men 2. Merry Men 2 will be in the cinemas this December. If you want me to come with you, if you want me to buy tickets with you, if you want to do like a hangout session, whatever, just let me know. But make sure you see Merry Men 2. Well, yes, Merry Men is out. Merry Men 2, the sequel is out. Come and see it. It is action packed. It is suspense packed. It is fun packed, comedy packed, fine girls packed, fine boys packed. I, I what else? I, I candy packed. Great techniques. Great everything packed. It is a fifteen hundred thousand packed movie. You laugh. You cry. You action thriller like everything in one. You, you think part one was good? See part two. You you, you go mad. Merry Christmas, everybody, and go to the movie theaters and see Merry Men Part 2. And of course, thank you guys for supporting the brand, and God bless you real good. Oh!